hello guys hello guys welcome to my channel Oratrix. and today uh, uh, I think this uh, will be the last video in this uh, series of application development of life uh, library management system and uh, in the last video uh, we have uh, completed uh, till this submit book and the last topic is remaining is this one how to create this uh, home screen right so before i uh, explain this one i would like to uh, give some credit to the uh, creator because uh, uh, we have to follow this so i have uh, been on this particular video and uh, he explained everything about and whatever uh, the codes are there uh, we have i have uh, taken the code as uh, the he shared this on the portal and uh, whatever the content he has shown over here uh, okay, so I have made certain changes to it and uh, the code was uh, whatever uh, used on this in this video is a demo code like this one uh, like is a short order and users is fixed. These values are fixed. So I have made certain changes into this right. So uh, let me show you that uh, what kind of change I have done uh, in this code. So it's better to give some uh, credit to the owner or the creator of this code. So I have taken this code from uh, this. So uh, if somebody wants a code, so you can go to this URL also, right? Oracle Apex tutorial. That is how to create a cool dashboard in Oracle Apex. So now, now let us understand that uh, how to create this one. <coughs> so now, as far as these icons are concerned. Okay, you can get uh, this icon. Uh, let me show you the website of it. Just go to this URL, this one. Okay, and you you will get a number of icons. Okay, so whatever the icon you 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 choose it, so you can set it as per your requirement of your uh, or it might be your uh, you know uh, requirement of an application. So on the basis of that, you can set this. So let us understand how to create this uh, classic, uh, you know, a dashboard. So we'll go to this page. So as uh, to create this one, we require this template, you know. So uh, a box is there and one image is there, some text is there and some calculations are there. And if you click on this, uh, you can move to this number of or some pages also. So let me show you before uh, going uh, to that, we need to go to this shared component and in which we have to create one template as I've done this uh, new dashboard okay so in which and that is type a report so you can go like this from here just click on here uh, let me show you that how to create this so just create report okay this one and from scratch might be so let me name it uh, just give the name like anything dashboard or whatever dashboard and template class you can select the custom one okay and then you are going to select a named column after that just click on create it will be created then we have to add the code so this is going to be the code for this particular environment. So uh, there is a container class. Then I have made certain changes as per my requirement, right? Uh, there is a title, data, and more information. Okay, and other things as it is. So just now go to this uh, page. Now on the home page, the here. You need to add some code some you know uh, this one in the inline right so the CSS is there and it's given that particular video which I have shown you in the beginning you can go there also or you can uh, you know just drop your email ID on this uh, channel I'll uh, under this video I'll share these uh, every code with you okay or you can go uh, to that particular uh, YouTube channel or video also just click OK I have made certain changes in this one also and now next is uh, just right click on it and create a region so as I've done this region created I have created one region 
and setting the some attributes so there is a library man management system LMS like this dashboard then this one and I have set a one dashboard one region and uh, I've created one classic report right let me show you so this is ultimately a kind of report and in which everything is on the basis of uh, query how your data has been displayed right so we will start with this only see I have selected an order for one so if you if you have said that one then it will uh, display as a first one okay then I am selecting total student as title so title will be displayed over here then I'm making a I'm firing a query because I'm count student ID and display that as a data so this is a count of student ID then this one okay uh, let's say for example if this this icon so you can take this icon fa underscore users from here okay so from here you can get your fa underscore users so that it can be you can set the environment of this and we call this as a icon class we are selecting the dark blue color okay and this is the link whenever uh, somebody is clicking on it so it will, it will be redirected to, to the concern page so this is for that and we are selecting this data from our library student details okay so if you go for with this the only first this one will be displayed right same thing I have done but adding union all okay next uh, order is second now I want to calculate the total faculties so total faculty would be my title like as this one uh, let me just okay fine and then I'm counting the staff ID and consider that as a data so here what I'm getting there is a faculty data staff ID I'm selecting this FA University so that it can be looked like this I'm selected a red color and then this link so that uh, whenever the user is click on this it can be migrated to a particular create faculty page right same as that I have go, go with the third I've said this then with the fourth then with the fifth and six and seven and eight so ultimately I have set almost eight uh, widgets like this so that uh, on the basis of this architecture which you have defined okay so on the basis of that you are uh, receiving the data so just uh, on the basis of uh, this templates so this one so here you have defined uh, this uh, title so your title is this one then your data is uh, this one and your more info link is this one right so we are the, about to end this uh, series of videos so hope you like this uh, series because whatever we have learned in this uh, is uh, how to demonstrate or how to create a simple application in Oracle Apex and uh, if you have any specific requirement that uh, you need to learn or something then just post it uh, on this uh, particular uh, channel so that uh, I can create some videos on that okay so kindly uh, subscribe and share this video so that other can learn easily and uh, this one of the fantastic technology so hope to see you uh, in next uh, uh, video eventually with the new uh, video series thank you thank you so much